Hi, welcome to another continuing uh, education uh, video tutorial on Transcript Pro. Uh, today we're going to talk about the common tasks with Transcript Pro. These are things that our customers and our potential customers ask us all the time. So here is what we're going to review in this, uh, this uh, recorded uh, video training. Uh, how to create a library of uh, expert witness transcripts. We're going to learn how to search in, across that entire library and learn how to work with the results. Uh, we're going to learn how to load and search transcripts by the case. Um, also, when we do a, a search in Transcript Pro, maybe we do a word search um, or two words joined together, we're going to show you how you can maintain the question and answer after you do the word search. You're able to just select the uh, lines of relevance and uh, hit a hot key or a shortcut key so that you can bookmark that section for review later. Uh, we're going to talk about synchronized video uh, depositions inside of Transcript Pro. Here we have a couple options. One, you can actually manually synchronize your own videos if you need to. Also, uh, the uh, tools inside of Transcript Pro for working with synchronized video and editing out uh, particular segments uh, as individual video clips is possible. Also, be able to uh, create a series of segments, rearrange them in any order, and then export them as one merged video file. Uh, we're going to learn how to copy testimony. You can copy and paste testimony from, from any transcript and paste it outside of Transcript Pro. But we're also going to take a quick look at Transcript Pro's internal uh, uh, feature called TextPad. It's another element to Transcript Pro. It's called TextPad. It is a full featured word processor. And uh, we're going to show you how to very quickly copy and paste text over to TextPad. Uh, we're going to show you how to add attorney notes. I think one of the best ways to do this is to actually create an issue called attorney notes where attorneys can select testimony and uh, put in their own notes for each segment. And then, of course, we're going to take a look at the various ways we can generate reports, summaries with page and line references, and uh, so forth and so on. So let's get started right now. Okay, here we're going to get started. Each time we open Transcript Pro, we can create a new case. Uh, what I'm going to do here uh, for this particular video is I've created a um, a case, as it were, and it's called Jones versus Jones Expert Witnesses. I've put in the case number and the discovery period, if there is one, and we just click on that to open up this uh, case. Now, I don't have any transcripts in here because that's the other part of the uh, thing we want to show you how to do. So this is going to be a case, uh, but it's going to be only the expert witnesses. So I'm going to go ahead and open up a folder on my computer that I have a number of tr ASCII transcripts. And I'm going to show you how to do that. Okay, here you can see I've got my folder open now, and I've got five expert witnesses. These are all in the text format, and if you have to use uh, a PTX file, you can open the PTX file up and save them as ASCIIs. These are ASCIIs, and so we're just going to drag those and drop those right here into our transcript area. I'm going to go ahead and close that. So now you can see I've got uh, five ASCII transcripts. I just double click on the word ASCII, and it opens up the transcript. I can now uh, browse it by page. And of course, um, over here on the right, if you look, we're already opened up to our bookmark segment right there. Okay, so we're going to take a look now at the next element on the list of items that we're going to review. Okay, the next item on our list is to search across that entire library of transcripts we've just added to Transcript Pro. So let's take a look at that. Okay, so we're back here now. Um, let's take a look at how we would do a global search on all of the transcripts in this case. What we would do is come up here to the top under our search area. And global search is going to search through all the transcripts in this case. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put in the word injury. And I'm going to do a search. And the program is now going through each and every one of those transcripts. And we're going to move over to our right here under the search tab in just a moment. And we're going to take a look at the results. OK, so the way these results come in is the come in, number one, by the name injury. And then we can bring that down. Now I've got three hits from three different uh, depositions of the five. So I can uh, open that up, too. Now you see here where we actually have a whole bunch of uh, return hits on the word injury. So when I hover my mouse over the, each one of these, it'll give you a short preview that you can look at. Now if you want to see this a little bit further, all you have to do is double click right here on this name. Okay? So let's see, I've just opened up this one. This is on 
uh, page 25, and you can rearrange a lot of these columns in Transcript Pro, 25 line 7, and this is under uh, Patrum's deposition. So right here on page 25 line 7, uh, here is where we would uh, find the word injury. It's going to find the line that the word is on. And uh, so if that was something that we wanted to keep, uh, we could create a bookmark. We could select the testimony, including the word, and we could create a bookmark for that. I'm going to I'm not going to create a bookmark right now. Let's take a look at a couple of other results first. I take a result a look at this result on page 28 and it says of injury that you could choose from. And the next one suffering is there any mention of Mr. Alvarez suffering from an electrical injury in your report? Okay, so this might be a good uh place to bookmark. And so one of the things we wanted to do is from the global search we wanted to be able to maintain the question and the answer and bookmark it. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create a bookmark. Click on bookmark up here and I'm going to call it injury. Now, I spelled it wrong. Injury. And I don't have to put any notes. If I want to add notes, I can. So I'm going to say okay. Now I've just bookmarked that testimony right there. So I can continue down here and now let's go to a different deposition. So now I've got uh, Bogus right here and let's double click on this line right here and so you'll see what Transcript Pro just did I've got to open this back up but Transcript Pro just opened up his deposition and it just found the first instance that we were looking for so it says acceleration and then injury exposures to one of the drivers of the passenger vehicles that was involved so this might be another area where we want to maintain uh, this as a as a bookmark so I'm going to select this question and answer I'm going to hit bookmark and we're going to put this also under the name injury. Now, I'm going to show you something else that's really cool too before I bookmark that. I'm going to show you a quicker way to flag testimony uh, bookmarks with the same name. And that is under our issues. So, Exhibit uh, Transcript Pro, I'm sorry, Exhibit Views, our other product. Transcript Pro has a nice. Uh, mechanism for creating issues in a case. So we can, for example, create an issue called injury, and we could call this um, medical experts um, uh, denial. Let's just put it that way. And we can leave it yellow. We can give it a hot key. Let's give it F2. And you can create an unlimited list of bookmarks because a bookmark is the same thing as an issue. An issue is simply a bookmark that happens more than one time. So you can create customized lists of uh, issues, issue slash bookmarks, and you can, if you look right here, you can import and export them from Transcript Pro to reuse them in other cases. I'm going to go ahead and hit save, and I'm going to go ahead and hit F2 right now, and now as you can see, I've got another bookmark under injury. Let's take a look at another one of these instances right here. And do you have any evidence that she was injured in the subsequent injury after the wreck? So, no, I don't. So, again, this is good for denial. So, I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and take that question and answer. I'm going to hit my F2 key, and I'm just going to hit OK. That's all I have to do to flag that testimony, and all that testimony is going to come right under here under injury for this particular witness. All right? So, this is how we would take from a global search of any witness locate, review the testimony that the uh, application finds, and then we can select question and answer to maintain that, and with a shortcut key we can assign it to a bookmark so that we can very quickly get back to that testimony later. Alright, let's take a look on the list right now for another one of the topics that we need to review. Okay, so the next topic up is to load and search transcripts by the case. Okay, so we do this a little bit differently in this version of Transcript Pro. And let's take a look right now how. Okay, so what we just looked at was a global search. Global search is obviously going to search all the transcripts in our case. Okay, now we're going to review how to, how to do word searches just in the open transcript. The way we would do that is right here under this search button by putting a word or words together. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and type in the word injury, and you can see I've typed that word in there before a few times, and I'm going to hit search, and it's going to find the first word. So in cases where there appears to be an injury, the truck is at fault, would it be fair? You can answer, I mean, I guess if it's obvious. So if we wanted to save that testimony, we would just hit F2, put that under injury. Now let's hit the down arrow, and so you can see what we do is we jump right through the transcript very quickly, and it's going to highlight the line that includes that word or those two words together. 
uh, is exactly how it will work. So you can go through a open transcript very quickly and very easily and when you find something of interest you can go ahead and select it and you can flag it. Now you can always get rid of these uh, these bookmarks later. As you can see right here we're building a list of bookmarks in this open uh, transcript. Uh, this is not a video transcript so I can actually hide my window so I can I can uh, get a longer viewing area. So once again I can continue looking through this transcript for anything of importance and when I find it I can take the questions and the answers and I can very quickly hit the hot key and flag them for later review. Uh, to give you kind of a quick uh, view of what that would look like you can print all these bookmarks out and I want to just give you a preview of that should be able to call up a preview here very quickly. Oh, came open on my other screen. Here's your preview, and if I go down by the pages, you can see it tells you the, the deponent's name, and it shows you each and every segment uh, that we bookmarked. Now, you can review and you can refine these, these printouts later very easily by simply selecting any one of these uh, bookmarks. Uh, reviewing it again and just going ahead and right click and deleting it so it'll delete it from your list. Also you can take any of these bookmarks and move them up or down in the list so if some of these things are more important to you you can do that. Okay so that is how we would uh, do a search in an open transcript and be able to flag that testimony for use later. Okay one other thing I wanted to show you you see we're on mark the question we can mark the question, we can mark the answer in Transcript Pro, and also under our settings, you can choose your own color for the question or the answer. In addition to that, I like to show little things you may not be aware of. In addition to that, we can actually zoom in on the transcript text. We can make it bigger. And this will maintain uh, for every transcript in the case. You see that it becomes very easy to read when you can just make it a little bit bigger, the testimony. Okay, let's take a look at the next item on our list. Okay, so the next item on the list is how to maintain the Q&A uh, after a search so that we can include the designated uh, numbers of lines uh, before and after the Q&A. And I think we've really just shown you that. By doing a word search or a phrase search, um, you'll find that line of testimo testimony, and then it's very easy to just grab your mouse, select all the lines before and after that you want, hit a hot key, and you flag that testimony. You've created a bookmark or an issue that you can work with later. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to move on to synchronized video right now. Let's take a look at that. Okay, so now we're going to take a look at uh, how to add a uh, synchronized video transcript. You can add the uh, DVT, which is called DepoView. You can also add the YesLaw disks, which are MDB files, and we can help you get them loaded. Sometimes the uh, when you copy all that information off of their disks, some of our customers leave out the media files and such and so they get a little error but we can help you with that. What you would do is you would hit add right here or you could add transcript up here on the top left and um, what you do is you find the transcript file as I just did you would click on that click open and then you would put in some additional information the, the deponent's name you would put the date and then of course you can was this taken on behalf of the plaintiff or the defendant and you can hit OK. I've already done that so you can see I've got the deposition of Jimmy Bilbo open I don't know if you can see the video playing as I record. I think you probably can. But here's what we're going to do. We're going to show you. Uh, I'm going to very quickly kind of roll through this deposition, and I'm going to create some, some bookmarks. And, and the way I like to work with videos is I like to actually create an issue called video editing, video edits. Okay, and I'm going to call this um, editing for segments. And I'm going to give it a different color. I'll give it aqua and I'll give it a hotkey F3 and I'm going to hit save. The reason that becomes important is because now I can use F3 when I find questions and answers. I can select as much or as little testimony as I want. I can hit F3 and I can hit OK. Um, before I hit OK, I want to show you that you, you would want to check the start and stop position of this bookmark. You can move it up or down in seconds or milliseconds. And this is how we make sure that we don't chop off any of the words. Because even the best synchronized videos are not always accurate. So you need a way to check the start and stop time. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and just hit OK. And you can see under bookmarks now I've got one called video edits. I'm going to advance a few pages. And I'm going to grab some more questions and answers. 
going to hit F3. We're going to make the assumption that I've gone through the list and I'm doing this properly uh, by checking my start and stop times. But I really want to just be able to show you exactly how you can work with video transcripts. All right. So I've got one set of uh, video edits right here. I could even make another one called Video Edits 2 as a bookmark, and I could create different bookmarks. All these bookmark segments, you can, you can delete them. Uh, you can play them to check them. Uh, the other thing, uh, when you're getting ready to work with videos, if, if these segments were not in the order that you want, all you have to do is choose one, move it up to the position that you want, and now you would put a check mark by each one of these, uh, and uh, of course if you were editing this for segments meaning each one of these four bookmarks was going to be a separate video uh, that you might use in our other product exhibit view or in a PowerPoint uh, there's no need to move the segments around uh, because you're going to be exporting them as individual video clips uh, but let's make an assumption that you want to merge these four clips together here's your icon for exporting video content and you'll notice every time we hover our mouse over an icon in Transcript Pro and our other product exhibit view, we tell you what that button does. So we try to make our icons look obvious. So export video content. And this calls up this nice di dialog box. Export bookmarks to multiple video formats. And uh, OK, so we've got a couple of choices here. This is going to go down to only one choice in a future release. And so I... I suggest that you uh, excuse that little ringing. I suggest that you just choose Apple iPad compatible because MP4 is absolutely universal. It'll work on PCs, it'll work on Macs, and it'll work on iPads. I'm going to choose to merge these clips together, and I'm going to choose to put the closed captioning text on there. I have to select a place to to export these two, so I'm going to go to my desktop and I'm going to create a new folder and I'm gonna call this folder Bilbo uh, merged video for mediation and I didn't spell it quite right and I'm gonna double click on that folder and I have to give it a name so I'm just gonna call it Bilbo uh, excerpts excerpts uh, take one because maybe you'll have several different sets of his excerpts I'm gonna go ahead and hit export and you're gonna see that uh, Transcript Pro will actually export these files very quickly as you can see the output. I'm gonna go ahead and pause the video and I'm gonna come back when it's ready and ready to show you what we've created. Okay so here we are now and I've got the Bilbo excerpts take number one. I'm gonna double click on it because I'm opening this up in our presentation software called Exhibit View. I'm gonna go ahead and clear the screen uh, I'm going to drag and drop this video right here. This is an MP4. You filed an affidavit and sued an anesthesiologist without having an expert affidavit. Well, the affidavit, yeah. All right, so hopefully you can see that, and you can see we've got the text underneath there as well. We can always turn that text on or off. Uh, but this clip is, um, uh, this clip right here is those, it's the four segments merged together. Uh, the way we had them uh, in order. So I wanted to show you that right there. Okay, so the only thing I didn't really touch upon, uh, this video is getting long, it's 18 minutes long, as a sort of a demo explanation video. Um, we do have the capability inside of Transcript Pro to manually synchronize our own videos. If we have a ASCII text file of a transcript, if we have the media files, we can merge them and we can uh, we can manually synchronize those. Uh, by listening to the testimony and hitting our uh, computer spacebar uh, to timestamp. We have a spe separate video on how to do that, and we also have a user guide on creating video synchronized uh, manually. So I'm going to move on to copying testimony right now. So let's take a look at how we can copy testimony uh, from Transcript Pro. Okay, we're back in Transcript Pro. So now we've got these, these segments of uh, transcript testimony right here. So we want to be able to copy it. So all we have to do is select it and right click and hit copy. Now I could now copy this to my uh, um, email. I could copy this to um, a slide inside of, trans inside of Exhibit View. Exhibit View is where we 
uh, can create slideshows and various things. I'm going to just go ahead and I'm just going to make a blue slide. I'm going to put some text here. Double click and I'm going to paste that right in there and I can even make it bigger. Whoops, a little too big. And so I can paste that. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that you can paste. Uh, I better make that text white if anybody wants to see it. Hold on one second. Okay. There you go. So I've pasted the testimony into a slide in Exhibit View. This is our other presentation software. But I could equally paste that into a Word document. I could easily paste that into an email, etc. Coming back over here, the thing I wanted to show you was TextPad. It's up here at the top called TextPad. This is a completely separate program really built right into Transcript Pro. And this is one of my favorite new features of this product. Uh, I'm going to create a new document called um, Expert... Uh, depot summaries, if I can spell the word right. Summaries, okay. I've just created a document called Expert Depot Summary. So I've got a document here. You can see I've got all of the features of Microsoft Word. I've got spell check. I can put hyperlinks in, bookmarks, pictures. It's just, I love this program. You can, all these documents will be saved right here in this case so you've got Jones versus Jones expert witnesses and it's gonna save this document in this case additionally you can create template documents these template documents are available to every case that I create in Transcript Pro so you can use uh, create a header and a footer, footer to put your uh, your own letterhead in here you can save that as a a document a template as a template and you could call it uh, you know, uh, firm letterhead. Anyway, let's talk about copy and the paste. I, I get ahead of myself sometimes. So all I have to do is select text, right click, and send to TextPad. And it moves it right over to TextPad. And this is, this is one of the greatest things about this, is it'll paste the text right here. I can, I can now continue typing. Uh, in addition to this testimony above, the next witness uh, says the opposite. I think it has an E. Opposite. I guess my spell check will get me if I'm not right. Okay, so now I move my cursor down here and I can come back over to my transcripts. I can open up the transcript of another expert in this case. And if I have some bookmarks, which I do, I double click on the bookmark and I say that's exactly the one I want. Right click, send to TextPad. Now notice what's happening here, which is really cool. Um, we paste the testimony, we show the pages and lines that it came from, and then we can read the actual testimony, and you can always edit this information later. So if you don't want the names, you can just delete it. You can reformat this, you can make it bigger, you can make it smaller. I mean, this program really works just amazingly. Uh, it's, it's really fabulous the way it works. Um, also, uh, if you had a video testimony, for example, this is another really cool feature. If you had, if we had created clips of this fellow's video, and if I had stored those clips in my Dropbox, and I was doing this for one of the attorneys in our law firm, then he wanted a simple way to review the testimony, and maybe he wants to see the video, maybe he doesn't want to see the video. Okay, so I'm going to show you what would happen, uh, because I just did a training session this week. Let's find right here, transcript let me see I've got to find them they were in here training video clips okay I've got all these clips I stored them in my Dropbox why did I do that I did that because Dropbox allows me to right click and share the link so it actually has a URL for this video clip so if I come back over here and let's say Brian Boggess, let's say this fella's video, let's say this is one of those video clips that you exported. All you have to do is select it, put hyperlink at the bottom, paste in your hyperlink from Dropbox, and then you could email this to your attorney, or if, you, if you're the attorney using it to your co-counsel or to your paralegal, and when he opens this up in his email as a Word document, he could just click on this and he can watch the video associated with this. So this TextPad feature is really cool. So that's the ways we can copy testimony from Transcript Pro, right? We can just select it, we can right-click, copy it, and we can paste it to any program we want. We can also right-click, send it to TextPad.
Okay. Uh, let's move on to the next item on our list. Okay, I'm going to kind of combine the last two items here because we're at 25 minutes. I like to keep it to about 30. So it says add attorney notes. I think I touched upon that. I think a great way to add attorney notes is to create an issue called attorney notes. And that way the attorney can select any testimony, uh, any number of ways. He can jump to pages. He can do searches. And then he can make notes. And he can put all those notes in that one issue, uh, that one bookmark issue. And then he can print off that entire list of bookmark issues. And that's the second part right here, generate reports, summaries with page and line references. So this is another area where Transcript Pro is very strong. All right, we're back over here in Transcript Pro. And I'm going to create another issue. And this is going to be called Attorney Notes. OK, and um, uh, that's obviously what it is. It's notes from the attorney. Notes from the attorney. I'll give it a shortcut. Uh, we can always, and the other thing we can always do is we can always let the attorney have a very specific color. Uh, let's give him a salmon color. And I like to keep things that aren't norm on the hotkey F10. And you'll see up here, it'll move it over here for us. So you can see I've got attorney's notes right there on the F10 key. So now the attorney could various ways find information in any one transcript. Uh, can select it and hit attorney's notes and now under here he can make notes and say this has relevance to the 30b6 deposition where the witness and I'm just gonna leave it right there I'm just kinda making stuff up but anyway the attorney notes will be like that and you can see over here on the right um, we can minimize these lists and so we can only look at one if we want so attorney notes and it says this has relevance to the 30 deposition etc etc uh, if I created a couple more of these attorneys notes and I won't add any other notes but I'm gonna hit my F so as I said I'll jump around here and I'll just add some more of these um, uh, bookmarks for the attorneys notes and we'll make the assumption that somebody has put some things in here for the attorney for attorneys notes because I want to show you what your printing will look like. OK, so here's you've got attorney notes. So when you click on print the bookmark, um, it's going to ask you, do you want a simplified? And you can select just the attorney's notes. Do you want a detailed or a simplified report? Detailed will give you the page and line number and the testimony. Let me preview this for you. OK, so attorney's notes, it'll give you the page and line number and the actual test text, excuse me. However, if you choose, you can print a simplified report of attorney's notes, and it would look like this. It would simply tell you the attorney's notes are relevant on these pages and line numbers. OK? So those are the last two items inside of Transcript Pro that we wanted to talk about. Uh, various other reports. OK, we can print a copy of the transcript. We can show the bookmarks and show the markups. This is going to this is always going to print in landscape mode and we've also learned that for your typical transcript that is 25 lines per page you want to reset your margins to 25 which is a quarter inch and now you can scroll through this transcript and it will have exactly 25 lines per page as you would expect and notice on the right when we get to an area that has a bookmark in it uh, you can print this out on your your computer and you're going to get, uh, it's going to show you where the bookmark is and the notes. I just passed one real quick. Okay, so here you go. Here's one of the bookmarks in this case. It's a, the name of the bookmark uh, is called Injury. The notes are Medical Experts Denial. And of course, it shows you the location. So this is a really handy way to print a complete copy of the transcript uh, in a way that you can then review any of your notes on this side. And if you need to make more notes, you can put some handwritten notes in here and go back and um, add uh, bookmarks, delete bookmarks. But this is a great way to take a preview of the entire transcript in a case. OK, uh, right now, that's it. Um, Bill Roach uh, for uh, Exhibit View Solutions, Legal Software Solutions. And we've taken a more comprehensive look uh, at our product called Transcript Pro with these common tasks right here. If you have any other questions, uh, you can feel free to let us know. We offer weekly training. Uh, it's typically weekly training uh, on all of our products. So when you purchase one of our products, you can sign up for our webinars for free. And you can learn how to use the products, ask all your questions. 
learn how to uh, uh, do the things you want to do that may not be obvious. Uh, there's always more than one way to do something that our clients need to know, and we're quite good at that. And coming to our training webinars will help you learn the product inside and out. And uh, uh, we're continually improving this product. We've got an update coming very soon. We've, we've, we've got a lot of updates for Transcript Pro coming. We hope this is a uh, going to be a, one of our more core products with attorneys. And so anyway, uh, that's it for me, Bill Roach. Hope you've enjoyed this uh, training webinar, Common Tasks with Transcript Pro 2. Thanks and have a wonderful, wonderful day.